Hey, good morning, everybody. Today is the 27th of November, 2020. My name is Kevin, and this is a morning meditation with a message. Um, I'm going to do a shuffle. <clears throat> I hope you had a good Thanksgiving. Of course, it's Thanksgiving here in the US. Um, I put up a little bit of a little bit of holiday stuff, a couple of reefs yesterday. And I uh, spent the day reflecting. It was very good. I um, wanted to feel the kind of vibe, the pulse um, of what was going on out there. It's sometimes getting quiet, getting silent. And when there's stillness everywhere, um, helps me do that. I sent it in and I um, wanted to get a sense of what would the general theme be if I were to choose a theme, what kind of energy do I want to work with. Um, and all day long I kept getting love and love and love and more love. So I felt, okay, so moving into the new year and the holiday season, I'm thinking that um, I'll use the theme, if you will, the energy really of love. Um, because I, I, I truly do think that's what the world needs. It reminds me of a song. Um, what the world needs now is love, sweet love. It's the only thing that we've got too little of. Um, I don't know if it was Petula Clark, but it came out in the 1960s, and I know various female singers sung it. Um, and it does seem that we are lacking it. We are lacking the ability to connect properly with other people, to um, share, other than the ratchetness of things you can't really do anything about, we just sort of lack this ability to connect properly. So I'm going to shuffle this morning um, just to see what our theme is and then we're going to meditate and I'm going to send you back your Friday. I never understood why they call this Black Friday. It's a bit weird why they do that um, because it's really not a day anymore. <laughs> these deals and these tempting messages to spend money, um, well, there's not a popper and there's not a jumper coming out today. So let's see what um, we can do. Um, given the cards a good shuffle. According to Colette Baron reed the Oracle Wisdom of the Hidden Deck requires you to shuffle through the cards, cut them three times with your dominant hand. And, um, oh then fan them out to find a card. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just sort of looking through, um, mixing them up. Mm. The Ice Queen popped up. And I'm asking internally whether or not I should Ideas perceived, non-action and entitlement. I don't know that that's resonating with me. Let's see what the um, book says. Usually I don't have a problem tuning right into what the message is, but this morning I am. The Ice Queen has come to block your movement for your highest good. Let your ideas be perceived later on. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense to me. And perhaps it's time to put those up. And grab the angel cards. Because that's something weird about that. Um, let's try again. Well here's one. Surrender. Well look at that. I like that. 
That makes more sense to me. Popped right out. And sometimes that happens in life. Sometimes it is something you don't expect and it just flows that way. And I think that's what I like about doing this kind of work is just let it go, let it flow. Let's see what Surrender has to say. And I'll read from the author themselves. Um, just so that I'm giving a clear message to you. Surrender is a spiritual practice and it's not an easy one. But angels are working in your favour and their miracles will unfold in, with ease when you move into a state of trust. So, call back your power and stop allowing external forces to divert you from the miracles you deserve. Take time to realise that in order to be helped, you must surrender your need for control over the situation. That is the situation that's on your mind. Hand over your concerns and the entire situation to your spiritual allies. When you do so, you will allow angels of light to swoop in and help every transformation. If you find yourself having difficulties letting go of the reins, it's because there's a part of you that's not willing to receive the help or miracles you deserve. Hand over all of your concerns to God and let the miracles in. I like that a lot. And that's what I kind of felt yesterday when I was um, going about my business, enjoying my dogs, enjoying all of that was a series of what is the theme that I want to work with. And it was that love is here and fear is a stranger. And to give up fear, to surrender the fears, let them go. Um, I like this. It feels to me like a hammock. Um, and I'm sure I'm not the only one who's getting a little, we call it thread bare. That's when you twist the nut on the screw too much so that the thread comes off. We're getting a bit thread bare of the continual challenge to be private, to be ourselves, to allow things to marinate. It seems that the world is bombarded with stimulate, stimulation and I've never known a society or a group of people, or nation, be so angry. Now the anger is coming from somewhere and it's boiling up, which is probably very appropriate that I should want to choose love. Understanding where the anger is coming from, not that you can do anything with it, let it go and then you place it with love. All right, close your eyes, <clears throat> put your feet flat on the floor and take a big breath in. Release the need to hold on to control. <sighs> Breathe in freedom, grace. And release control. <sighs> Breathe in love and understanding. Let go of judgment and anger. Let yourself settle into your breath. And for this morning, I'll let you choose whether your palms are downward in your lap or your palms are upward towards your heart. Palms down. You're taking your journey inward. Palms up. You're open to listen and receive. Give a scan of your physical body
begin with the floor and starting with your right ankle joint release any tension that you've been holding on for standing too long Move to your left ankle joint. Remove tension, stiffness. Bring awareness and your attention to your right knee. Ease up any discomfort, punishment. Breathe in, healing energy. Breathe out the stiffness, the tightness that lives there. Work to your right knee. Come up to your right hip joint. What is the quality and the feeling in your right hip joint? Breathe in comfort, breathe in ease, breathe in freedom of movement. Release out the stiffness, the challenges and any pain, let it go. Move to your left hip joint. Lift to your shoulders, the area on the top of your shoulders, down your arms, into your elbows. Be with one side and the other side. Make your way to your wrists on both hands. And then one at a time in turn, your ten fingers. Take your mind and consciousness up to your jaw. Your teeth. The area of your jaw right inside your ear canal. Cheeks and eyes and ears, both sides of your head, all the way to the crown of your head. Notice anything that you notice. Allow your body to just relax and be free. Now bring your mind, your third eye center to any issues, situations, people, or stories that weigh heavily on you. As you think about these issues and these situations that are weighing on your heart. See them being released, acknowledge them for their concern of you, your concern of them. And as you release them, let the space that you release be replaced and renewed.
and continue breathing in peaceful, loving, kind, gentle, surrendering energy. Breathing out the heaviness of burdens, the heaviness of anxiety, the heaviness of challenges. Let them go. Just keep watching your body, watching your thoughts. And keep this feeling of peace, satiety. Bring your hands to heart center at your chest. Lift your thumb knuckles up between your eyebrows and honor yourself and the world for the commitment to love and understanding. Namaste. Mm. Thank you, my friends. Um, today, bring with you this energy of surrender. I anticipate that in the next mm, little while, two or three weeks, as the holidays become, get closer and closer, and people become more and more disconnected from that love just remember that um, fear is a stranger and love is here love is everywhere just looking for you just asking for you same as joy happiness it's a choice it may not seem like there is a choice to some who have been buried for a long time and the feeling that it doesn't exist. And there are some folks who, I know myself, extend love and understanding to them. And they think that there's something going on. They don't trust it. Well, you just keep going. You just keep doing. You know, love is not about what we tell people. It's about what we show people. It's about what they see. What they see might inspire them. And they feel it. What they feel doesn't get away from them. I know what I'd rather feel. Okay, have a great Friday. Enjoy. I'll be back here tomorrow at 5.30. I have suspended my 45-minute um, Power Express yoga class and the 30-minute meditation so that I can regroup and work out what I'm going to do next. All right, enjoy. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.